Well, joining us from San Francisco is J.C. Parrott, founder and president of Eagle Bay Capital. J.C. takes a technical look at the market, so great to have you here when we're sort of at these levels. And J.C., you say that the S&P 500 is actually in worse shape than many people think. So far this year, what, the S&P is down around 8 percent, and J.C., you say there are even more bearish signals for equities ahead. Yeah, I, I, things just keep getting progressively worse. I was on your show uh, in December. Uh, how are you guys? Thanks for having me on again. Um, I was on your show in December and I was really bearish, you know, short S&Ps, short Apple, short emerging markets and buy Treasury bonds, you know, for multiple reasons. Number one, you know, you get a uh, sort of sympathy buying in Treasury bonds as money comes out of other risk assets. But also, you know, I've been in the camp that interest rates continue to go lower, uh, which will send bond prices higher. That's worked. Um, but as much as our downside targets were achieved in the last week and a half or so, um, structurally things are worse. So although I, I do think that we can get some counter trend bounces in equities, not just domestically, but globally, uh, structurally things are worse. I think we're going a lot lower. JC, you know, every time we get these big sell-offs, you say, oh, is this capitulation? Is this capitulation? What are the indicators that you like to look at that tell you, okay, sentiment has gotten to an extreme level? How would, what are the signs you would like to see that maybe we've yeah. gotten to some real bottom? Yeah, and it's a great question, and it's actually an impossible question to answer. Um, what we want to see is an improvement in breadth. What we want to see is uh, a, a combination of perhaps some new leadership, some sector rotation, somebody leading as opposed to new lows, new lows, new lows. And what we also want to see is fewer names on the New York Stock Exchange hitting new 52-week lows. We're seeing the opposite. We saw more new 52-week lows uh, last week than we saw in August. So um, what we want is an improvement of breath. It's more than just a, a capitulation or a sentiment thing. It's actual improvement underneath the surface. Not only are we not seeing that, uh, we're seeing things get worse. And just a quick note, uh, Jamie Berland, our markets producer, just sent across a headline that said 20 S&P 500 stocks, Alex, making fresh 52-week lows. Yeah, and part of that really has to do with the financials, JC. Uh, S&P financials closing at their lowest level since February 2014. Can you talk about the technical destruction that's been done to these guys? When you talk about financials, you want to. This is a group where you want to see leadership, and we're seeing the opposite. I mean, on a relative basis, we're in a we're in a downtrend for three years. So if you think that we're in a bull market and you think stocks are going up, you want to see financials making new highs, both on a on an absolute and on a relative basis. Again, we're seeing the opposite. We're seeing new multi-year lows on a closing basis on both an absolute. And on a relative basis, this is not only the second largest group in the S&P 500 in terms of weighting uh, behind technology, which you know makes it arguably the most important sector in America, but it's financials. In bull markets, you need to see leadership out of these guys. We're seeing them drag down the market. That's not a characteristic of a bull market, guys. And speaking of another interest rate sensitive group, you're also looking at utilities, JC, and uh, you also see a lot of bearish signals there. There's a smile formed at the bottom there if you look at how the, the lows have, have been really progressing, right? We hit the low point uh, late last year, and since then we've been making higher lows. Yeah, so uh, what we're seeing in utilities is actually the opposite of what we're seeing in financials. Um, you know, in bull markets, you want to see money rotating out of that defensive, high dividend utility space and going into financials. We're seeing the opposite, money coming out of financials, going into utilities that are making new highs relative to the S&P 500 for multiple reasons. Number one, it's defensive qualities, but uh, more importantly, as interest rates continue to collapse, investors searching for yield, fixed income investors, they're simply not getting that in the bond market so that flight to higher dividend stocks is another reason why utilities are doing well again not a characteristic of a bull market just more evidence that um, we're in a bear market stocks are in a downtrend and we're heading a lot lower all right we got Apple earnings out tomorrow every time you've come on this show you've been negative on Apple Apple's been doing pretty miserably what do the charts tell you about Apple right now Sure. And if you recall, last time I was on your show, I said we're heading down to the low 90s, you know, short Apple all day. And we got there last week. So to be pressing shorts at this point would be, um, I, I think that would be foolish. Uh, tactically speaking, I would much rather be selling into strength. I'm not going to sit here today and tell you that it's going into 108, uh, but I certainly hope so, because I think that would be a great shorting opportunity again uh, for Apple. All right. All right. Go ahead. 
No, no, we'll see how it all plays out. Of course, Apple results come out tomorrow. We'll be covering all of that on What'd You Miss. Our thanks to JC Paris Eagle Bay Capital. Inside